Hey friends and family, my name is Skylant, and today we are playing Paladins, though we're not actually going to jump into a match. I wanted to talk about something very specific here. It's a feature of Paladins that I think really makes Paladins what it is. It's a feature that is glazed over all the time in first impressions, for obvious reasons of what it is. But I think it's something that needs to be talked about. I need to elucidate it. I need to amend what I had failed to do to talk about in my first impressions and all the other videos I've been doing of Paladins. And that's going to be the champion card system, and it's it's changed so dramatically in this year, this past year. Uh, ever since it went open beta, it's completely changed. It is all basically a loadout system. So yeah, we are going to be talking about the cards and the loadout system. But uh, yeah, I just want to say I'm sorry. I'm sorry I didn't talk about it sooner. I know in a couple of videos, you know, I, I did a video on like Bomb King and Drogos. You know, I talked about them like oh, you might want to get certain cards on them, but I didn't really know how deep the customization was until I actually was kind of forced to do it. So let's talk about Buck. You know, I'm going to specifically Buck. look at Buck for a little bit. We're talking about some other characters, um, but I'm just going to be talking about the loadout system. So this is how you access it. You go to your character, you hit the loadout. So yeah, when you first start playing, you will see that you need to click a loadout whenever you, you know, get actually in the match. Yeah, you normally will click the basic because when you start out, that's all you have. You have these basic cards. Now you do have to collect these cards, um, but yeah, here's the basic loadout right there. Now I have another loadout because I feel like Buck wasn't tanky enough with the basic one. I just, it just wasn't really doing it for me. I really wanted him to be a lot more tankier. Uh, I found that you couldn't really give him too much upfront tankiness. It's really more like lifesteal and, and healing um, because that's the type of character he is. He's a flanker. He's not a proper tank tank. So yeah, you have to actually do damage to heal. You have to be, you're, you're really just supposed to be annoying. So to the varying degrees of survivability, uh, to mobility, to, you know, how much you are actually healing or doing damage, you know, or CCing, you know, how annoying you are, you can actually pick those different things. And here is the loadout screen. Now, you don't just pick five cards, which is to my surprise, right? Um, you actually can level cards up and down. So that's pretty cool. Uh, kind of like, a, you know, here it shows the rarity or the level up here, the color and everything's real nice. Uh, so this build is going to be a Giga Vigor, a Giga Vigor uh, build here. So we're going to kills reduce cooldowns, which I th I don't know what's going on with the kills reduce the cooldown of recovery. I don't know if that actually works. Like it just completely, you know, reduces the cooldown completely. I don't I don't know. But that'd be pretty cool. But anyways, recovery grants 40% life steal. So I'm constantly using recovery. Overall, I have an increased duration of recovery as well. Um, I got a little bit of healing over here. Um, but yeah. Depending on what you want to do, even though the cards themselves are somewhat vague, so if we just go here and click on the cards, you can see they're just generally, well, they're just generally kind of general, you know? They just kind of add stat boosts and stuff like that, but because you can greatly modify how much they give you, you can change the way you play. So here it's like some lifesteal. Okay, that's cool. You know, I get some lifesteal. That's neat. But you can get a fuck ton of lifesteal, bro. Uh, and then you can modify that and make it stack with other things and... Absolutely, you can basically make him Buck the Berserker. Or maybe you want to be extremely mobile. You just want to be jumping all over the place, man. Buck the the Flea. I don't know. Yeah, you could probably do that. Something like that. Yeah, reduce the cooldown of Heroic Leap. Get the cooldown reduction thing and just be jumping and flippity flopping all over the fucking place, man. Yeah, abso absolutely. Um, so yeah, you could do that with different characters. Now, I, I did say you have to collect these cards. So, let's see. I have all his cards, basically. So let's go with someone Sky. like Sky. You click on Sky, you can see I don't have a lot of cards. Now, all the cards for all the characters and all the different zones and whatever, you know, the, the different weapons that they focus on, all the cards are 1,200 gold. You're gonna get about 500 gold every couple levels uh, for the different characters. So if you focus on a character and level it up from 5, you know, to 10, you will be able to afford a good amount of cards. Mo definitely all the cards you want in a specific build, um, but you might have to get them to the max level before you get all their cards. Now, also acquiring cards comes through the chests, which if we go over here, here's the chests. You open the chests, you can go to the store, purchase the chests. They don't cost that much, uh, but you also acquire them just through playing the game and leveling up different characters. As you can see, yeah, I got a lot of coinage from just playing the game a little bit. Uh, also, the Founders Pack. So, yeah, you're, you're going to have everything you need uh, pretty quickly Baby. to play these characters. Sky. So, if we go to Sky here, she is a assassin, and she focuses on stealth and, like, basically insta-bursting uh, somebody with her little Gatling dart gun thing. So, you can go about customizing her in a couple of different ways. You know, extended duration of stealth. So, you can be super sneaky, um, come in, kind of, you know, survey what's going on. Uh, gives you a lot of safety whenever you do make that pick get the kill, um, but then you might be kind of caught out. But then again, you know, that's why you give yourself a little bit extra time for preparation. 
Um, so you could do that, or you could constantly, like this one, this is the Quick Smoker build, where I'm just constantly going into stealth. I have an extra stealth here with this one. Um, I have a reduced cooldown all over the place, so I'm just, I'm just stealthing, literally just non-stop, all over the place. It's amazing, okay? Which is pretty cool. Or you could do, you know, something a little bit more well-rounded, uh, you know, something like that, whatever. Um, so, Eevee. now, I will say, I will say one thing, guys. Uh, and I want to say it for Eevee, specifically. Eevee doesn't have a single ability that actually enhances her damage, really. Like, her damage is pretty nukey, okay? It, it really is. Uh, but you can still be a little bit more aggressive in ways. So you can be more aggressive with your blink, so you can have extended range. Or you can uh, maybe have wormhole, so the blink can be used a second time so that you can return. Um, you also might want that for dueling, uh, which is really good. So you're attacking somebody, you blink kind of behind them, hit them a couple times, they turn around, you blink again, and then yeah. So you can kind of use it as a uh, dueling. And you can also have your weapon deals 25% reduced self damage. So sometimes you will actually do damage to yourself because to nuke somebody with Eevee, you have to get right up close to them, basically be like melee range. You know, there's no melee in Paladins. You get right in, right up on them and sometimes you'll do damage to yourself and you'll knock yourself back, which is counterintuitive. I don't know. So you might want that card. It's kind of, I don't know, it's kind of niche, but maybe. Um, so yeah, there's cards that can slightly modify your gameplay, but depending on how much you change them. So here's the range, okay? Range of blink increased by 25%. That's cute, okay, I guess. Normally, I wouldn't really care about that. But then if you can bring it to level four, double the distance. That is a lot. You double the distance of blink, and then add that to, let's see, we can actually bring up, uh, blink can be used a second time, so let's unlock this guy. Blink being used a second time can bring us back. And then you have eight seconds to do that. That's so much. You could fly in blink, Oh my gosh, dude, you can go so far. You could, you could probably, I mean, definitely if you're defending the last choke point, right, um, of payload, you can go from inside your base all the way into the enemies, like just all in their face, ultimate everything, and then blink back, all the way back, heal up, and then come back into the fray after that. You could do so much, um, and that's just one way to be annoying. There's multiple ways to be annoying. You could even just focus on, instead of being kind of like buzzy and flo and floating around and flying around, you can focus on being a little bit more consistent inside the fight. Like I said, you can be dually, um, you can be more, like you can uh, focus on soaring. So that's gonna be like, you can actually uh, get into the fight faster, more consistently like that. You can focus on blink. And that's what I like about this, you know, this setup right here. It focuses on single ability blink, on soar, armor your and weapon, ice block, then again, you know, it's still, it's structured in their archetype, so armor weapon is not just going to be, you know, extra damage sometimes. I don't think there really is characters that just flat give you, you know, damage extra. Um, it's always going to be in weird ways, and it's always going to kind of come back to another ability. So, right here, let's see, right here, we have ice block. When you use ice block, it generates one single ammo. Um, that's not really that good. Now, Eevee has really bad uh, reload times, so I guess you could say you might want to... I don't know, get reload time. Is there reloads over here? Increase movement speed, kills, reduce cooldowns. I'm trying to find reload. Anyway, so you can't actually get reloads unless you use the itemization that gives you, uh, I think, 20 or a quarter percent reload speed. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's 20% reload speed. So instead of getting that, you can actually get this, where it just instantly generates an uh, ammo. So if you want to be dually, so you're like in the fight and you want to stay in the fight, uh, you can actually use all your six ammo, and then by then you're probably going to want to ice block. Then use your ice block, and then if you level this up, instead of it just being one ammo, you can actually have it to where it generates four ammo, which is a good amount. That's definitely enough to kill somebody, man. That's definitely enough. Uh, so yeah, if, if you want to be like that. So this, this build, let's see, we can jump in, jump out. Let's see, I don't know how long ice block works. So I don't think you really want to mix and match certain cards. Like if you wanted to focus on ice block, then maybe not so much on the blink you know, jumping in, jumping out, like the, the wormhole slash uh, teleport thing, maybe? Uh, let's see, and you right here. So, Ice Block heals you for 50 health every second. You might want instead to Blink heals you, especially if you're going to be blinking twice. Actually, yeah, if Blink heals you for 75 health, that's definitely going to stack. Actually, we want this. We want this. And yeah, like I said, if you want to be dually and really sit in the fight, then you want both heals. So let's do that. Let's make a dual build. So we're going to get Flicker. Uh, so we're gonna get heals. Actually, let's reduce the range and everything. So yeah, we're not gonna be as mobile as we want to, but the point is, is to just walk into the fight and then from there, sit in the fight and blink around and fly around and just really be in the fight uh, and be annoying in the team fights. So we can do that, we can do that. So the range blink is increased by 25%, that's fine. Actually, we don't even need that really. So let's just go with healing. So 
Generate ammo, I want four. Ice block heals, blink heals, and we want the double blink. Blink may be used again, it doesn't matter, two seconds is completely fine. I'm probably gonna use it instantaneously for um, a bigger health heal. 300, I wonder, is there a time, there is no time limit, so there's no cooldown. I can use it again for 600 health, for 600 health instantaneously. Let's see, and this is only this is only 200. So this is this is overall a better heal, but we want both because we just really want to be dually. Um, let's see, generate four health. Okay, so we get one more. So what what is the one that's really gonna allow us to duel? Um, probably cooldown reduction. We probably want cooldown reduction. Kills reduce cooldown. Okay, over we want cooldown reduction of blink and ice block because they both heal us. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna get impact. Impact here, kills reduce cooldowns by 10%. Um, so overall, we're going to be healing just more, we're going to be doing overall just more, and because of that, it kind of gives us, in a way, reloads. Uh, so all in all, this is extremely synergistic, and we're going to be calling this, uh, build, I don't know, uh, t fucking, I don't know, uh, annoying. <laughs> I don't know, man. Also, yeah, you saw that, that beta, yeah, the text field beta, okay, anyways, so we're going to save and exit, but we just want to be annoying, blinkity blin healing all over the place. We totally do that. Look at that smug face. She knows it's going to be awesome. I don't know. I don't know if it's actually going to be awesome. But anyways, that's the kind of stuff that you can do. The potential. You know, and all these characters, yeah, to a degree, they're, some are more versatile, more flexible than others. But still, this game, Paladins, offers you that amount of flexibility. I know, at first glance, Fuck. at first impressions, a lot of people are going to say it. It's like, oh, it's a loadout thing. It's cute. Only five cards. You know, it's, it's not the itemization of MOBAs. The truth is, is that it's a lot deeper than people really realize. And of course, it makes sense because you have to actually collect the cards. You have to actually get to a point where you understand the game. It's, it's like you have to actually play it a lot to really understand the impact of these cards, which is impactful. And it makes Paladin special. Definitely makes it compete with other games. And honestly, I think it makes it fun. This is the true gameplay of Paladins. Trying out these builds, playing with these different characters, and I think it, it definitely fits the characters. It doesn't break any of their archetypes. It fits them, um, and it it definitely adds to the it only adds to the gameplay. It's not muddied. It's it's really good. So yeah, it seems simplistic on paper, but when you actually get in game, it's actually a lot of fun. And I feel like it's it's really kind of finely tuned in a way. So yeah, of course, there's always going to be balance changes and stuff like that. But right now, I really like the system. I think it's pretty good. I think this is the way uh, of the future for Paladins. I think it's, it's going to stick. So thanks for watching, guys. So much. My name is Skylint. I will be doing more Paladins content. This was just kind of a look at the loadout system, which I totally really never talked about. And honestly, not too many people do. So there it is, guys. If you're new to Paladins or maybe you're like me and you actually have played it a little bit and you still overlooked it. Well, now you haven't. And now you know that it's pretty awesome. So, yeah, pick your favorite characters, customize them and really get to know intimately those characters. Uh, because it's going to make the game so much more fun. Again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.